Franklin D. Roosevelt is considered one of the greatest presidents in American history. He was the only president to be elected four times and is credited with leading the country out of the Great Depression. He also led the country through World War Roman II and is remembered for his Four Freedoms speech. He was a strong advocate for civil rights and is remembered for his lasting legacy of social reforms. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was born on January 30, 1882, in Hyde Park, New York. He was the only child of James and Sarah Roosevelt. His father was a successful businessman, and his mother was a socially prominent woman. Roosevelt was educated at Groton School and Harvard University. After graduating, he attended Columbia Law School. Roosevelt married Elena Roosevelt in 1905, and they had six children together. In 1910, he was elected to the New York State Senate as a Democrat. He was re-elected twice and served as the Democratic majority leader from 1911 to 1913. In 1913, President Woodrow Wilson appointed Roosevelt to be the Assistant Secretary of the Navy. In 1920, Roosevelt was the Democratic Party's nominee for Vice President of the United States. Although the ticket was defeated, Roosevelt gained national recognition and was a popular figure in the Democratic Party. In 1928, he was elected governor of New York and was re-elected in 1930. In 1932, he won the presidential election and was sworn in as the 32nd President of the United States. Roosevelt's presidency was marked by the Great Depression, which began in 1929 and lasted until the mid-minus 1930s. He implemented a number of programs to help the country recover from the economic downturn. These programs, known as the New Deal, included relief programs such as the Civilian Conservation Corps and the Works Progress Administration. The New Deal helped to restore the economy and bring relief to millions of Americans. During his first term, Roosevelt also passed the Social Security Act, which provided pensions for the elderly and the unemployed. He also passed the Wagner Act, which guaranteed collective bargaining rights to workers. He also passed the Fair Labor Standards Act, which established a minimum wage and a maximum work week. In 1936, Roosevelt was re-elected in a landslide victory. During his second term, he continued the New Deal programs and implemented a number of other reforms. He also extended Social Security benefits to include survivor and disability benefits. He also passed the Housing Act of 1937, which provided federal funds for public housing. In 1940, Roosevelt was re-elected to a third term. During this time, he worked to build support for the United States entry into World War Roman II. He also delivered the famous Four Freedoms speech in which he outlined four fundamental freedoms of humankind, freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from want, and freedom from fear. In 1941, he implemented the Lend-Lease Act, which allowed the United States to provide military aid to its allies. In 1944, Roosevelt was re-elected to a fourth term. During this time, he worked to shape the post-war world and created the United Nations. He also continued to expand civil rights and pushed for the passage of the Fair Employment Practices Act, which prohibited discrimination in employment based on race, sex, or national origin. In April 1945, Roosevelt died of a cerebral hemorrhage. He left behind a legacy that shaped the modern United States. He is remembered for his leadership during the Great Depression and World War Roman II and for his commitment to civil rights. His lasting legacy includes the New Deal, Social Security, and the United Nations. Franklin D. Roosevelt is remembered as one of the greatest presidents in American history. He was a visionary leader who helped the country through some of its darkest days. He implemented a number of social reforms that are still in effect today, 
and his legacy lies on in the lives of many Americans.